Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be taking a look at the newest version of ESAT, Internet Security. When it comes to the UI, not much has changed, but I think that's a good thing because personally, I really like this ESAT user interface. I really like the design scheme. I like the way the settings are displayed. Everything is just very intuitive and it's got quite a lot of settings. So if you want, you can configure it to the nth degree pretty much. There's a lot of components in here. There's even parental control, gamer mode, all sorts of things. You can even import and export settings, which is not something you can usually do with a lot of products. But there you go. As you can see the advanced setup is actually quite detailed so just in terms of configurability and user interface design i think this is one of the nicest products out there but let's be honest that's not nearly as important as the security it has to offer so that's what we'll be testing today as usual i have over 1500 malware samples and we'll try running these on the system and we'll see how ESET protects us now i just updated the program and it says we are protected so let's get testing. Now, if you've watched the last test, you've probably noticed that I've made a very small change to my testing procedure. I've decided to move the classified folder into a network drive. Apart from that, everything remains the same. So we have over 1500 items. This includes ransomware, PUPs, Trojans, all sorts of things. And we are going to automate the execution of all of this using a script called Malix. Essentially, all it does is spawn each of the malware as a different process as breakaway job and runs them with a small time delay and calculates the proactive detection based on that. Our real time protection is indeed turned on. So we will begin the onslaught of malware. Just an interesting side note, this pop-up caused by ZNKZ virus QQ is very persistent and it seems to keep trying, so it doesn't quit when I click OK. The task continues for a while and then it just pauses the whole thing and pops up again. So it's really annoying. I tried to go through the process list and find it, but even that was very difficult to do. So, well, I guess the virus is good at its job. <laughs> Luckily, the test is going really fast, so I guess it's just another 10 minutes of clicking OK for me. I need to write a script to automate this. All right, it seems like we're done. We've got a proactive detection of 99.33%. So overall, the results are quite impressive. Of course, we'll have to take a look at the system and see if we've got any active infections. We still have a lot of files that are being detected, so we'll go ahead and delete all of these. But apart from that, everything looks good. The test ran really fast. I think we do have some process in memory. Not sure if they're being dealt with by ESAT, but we'll have to reboot the system, do our second opinion scans, and then we can figure out what the final result looks like. All right, so after our test with the network attack vector, I've cleaned out the temp files, done a couple of second opinion scans, and these are the results. Norton Power Racer did not detect anything. Hitman Pro didn't find anything either. Just a tracking cookie. This is, of course, a false positive. Don't mind that. Now, I did do some more analysis of the system, tried to figure out if there are any other traces, and I really couldn't find anything. If we go into Process Hacker, and even if we just hide signed processes, you'll see that there's no, no unexpected process running on the system. So overall, I think it's a clean sheet for ESAT. That is indeed a very good result. I'm pleased to see this because the last time I tested it, it did not manage a clean sheet. I think we had active malware on the system. Much better this time. I will mention that even though I said the user interface was really nice and it was highly configurable, I did get a ton of alerts during the testing process. So it wasn't fully automated, at least not in the default configuration. But apart from that, not too many complaints with regards to how the test went. In terms of performance, definitely one of the best results I've seen. So I hope you enjoyed this video. By the way, the TPSC website relaunch is finally complete. You can check it out at www.thepcsecuritychannel.com. The results will be on there along with the cumulative 
clean sheet scores, pretty much the history of every product I've tested and the number of clean sheets they've got. It's on the website, check it out. There'll of course be a link in the description as well. This is Leo, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.